Premier League stars are sounding the alarm about an increase in injuries due to VAR delays. The players have raised their concerns with the players' union, citing the risk of muscle strains and pulls after long stoppages. PFA Chief Executive Mahita Malengo has called on the game's decision-makers to prioritize player welfare. The issue was highlighted when Tottenham defender Mickey van de Ven suffered a severe hamstring injury during a VAR-riddled clash with Chelsea. Players who warm up before games can experience stiffness in their muscles due to regular and lengthy stoppages, which is exacerbated during cold weather. Malengo emphasized the need for a better understanding of the physical demands on players, including the impact of competition cycles, international travel, and the timing of international tournaments. The rise in injury rates among players, including a reported 96% increase in hamstring injuries among Premier League players, should be a cause for concern. Games are being extended by lengthy injury time and VAR stoppages, which players have raised as a significant issue. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp has also voiced his concerns about the Premier League schedule, particularly in relation to international travel and quick turnarounds for matches. The PFA is pushing for increased breaks and better guidelines for players in collaboration with UEFA, FIFA, and the Premier League. The Houghton's Injury Index report revealed that players endured eight extra days on the sidelines after the mid-season World Cup in Qatar due to increased fatigue. In other news, the Premier League shareholders' meeting discussed the blocking of loan deals from Saudi Arabia, but another interesting development was the proposed personal liability for multi-million pound deals. However, the proposal was voted down, and further tweaks may be made to get it passed in the future. There is speculation that heavy punishments may be imposed on Chelsea and Manchester City, following the strict action taken against Everton for rule violations. Safety concerns have also been raised regarding an upcoming game at Goodison Park. On a positive note, EFL bosses are close to finalizing a £915 million financial deal with the Premier League, which is a significant achievement considering the previous stalemate. Looking ahead, there is a growing feeling that the next Premier League TV deal will eliminate the 3 p.m. blackout. TV companies are becoming more creative and demanding, with Amazon planning an action packed goal show for their upcoming midweek fixtures. Lastly, keep an eye on referee Sam Barrett, who is making rapid progress through the ranks this season. He will be in charge of West Ham's trip to Burnley.